Hello everyone, so this is the video of how to work with the pods for Saab masts and an in-depth review of what to do and how to do it to make them work properly. We'll start off with the more basic ones. So you've got the uh, 82 and the 92 Saab masts. These are the slightly older generations. These are easier to work with because the taper from the base of the mast to the top is a lot less aggressive. It's a quite a shallow basic taper. So that gives you a lot more freedom of where you can run the pod. So if I was to work with this 82 here, um, this pod here is pushed all the way down the bottom and I could conceivably uh, undo the bolts in the back even more so and loosen this off and run the pod even lower. But realistically, much lower than that is you know, not much need for that. As I push the, the pod up, it's a little stiff when you're trying to push it up. So if I came up about here, pushed the pod completely together, and I work my way down, it starts to pinch about here, which that's plenty of depth to be running your motor. So that is the lowest position you can run it on the mast without adding any tape. And as I said, you can loosen the bolts off in the back of this, and as you pull the pod down, the gap between the two halves starts to increase and that gives you your adjustability to move the pod up and down. If you did want to run this even lower again, because the taper is quite shallow, so if I push it completely together, see how it's a bit wobbly, you could just literally add one layer of black electrical tape. You'd find that that's enough to take up the very small gap that's between the pod and allows you to run it lower. You can even run these pods all the way at the base. Down here in E-foil mode, you would just need to add a few extra layers of tape onto the nose to fill in the gap, and it allows you to use the pod for both E-foiling and for conventional surf foiling. So that applies for both the 82 and the 92. When it comes to the new Kraken series, the 93 and 83, it's a whole different ball game. Um, that really is due to the fact that they have a very difficult taper to work with. So not only is the mast tapered in this direction, it's also tapered in this direction as well. So the shape naturally wants to make any shape that goes around it fall this way because there's a constantly decaying surface this way and this way and that way and underneath. So, we have used special 3D scanning technology to scan the mast and make a pod that fits this constantly tapering shape perfectly. And this is what we're presenting today. So, it's a normal pod. It has a quite a bizarre tapering cutout in the center of it to make it fit. And what I, what I need you to understand if you're buying one of these is the following. If, if I was to shimmy this down just a little bit, See how the pod becomes loose? And if I bring it up, it nips into place and it's perfectly snug. Again, this is a byproduct of the mast shape, not pod design. So, what you need to do if you want to run the pod on this is at the moment this is set at approximately, if you take into fact where the base plate would normally be, this pod's running at about 16 centimeters from the base here board, which we've found is a really good average for surfing, subfoiling, downwinding, all that sort of stuff. Some people want to run their motor pods lower, some people want to run them higher. So we've had to take our best guess as to what is the optimum height, and that is where it currently fits. If the rear and the front are basically touching, it's about 16 centimeters. If you want to run it slightly higher, you can. You just undo the bolts loosen the pot off, loosen up a little bit more, and you can shimmy the pod a bit further up the mast, like you can keep, of course when you're trying to video it, it's a little bit awkward, but you can keep backing the bolts off, giving yourself even more freedom of movement, and you can shimmy the pod up a bit further. It won't go much higher than about 14 centimetres running height. It's just it just tapers too much. It's not possible to have the pod come all the way to the top. If you want to run it further down, you can. 
you can simply run it a bit further down and add an extra layer of tape to take up the gap that you will be leaving. And the reason why we had to make a video of this is it's hard to articulate in words, but at one particular setting it's perfect. You only move one centimetre down and there's, look at how much slop there is. This is completely unique to the Kraken mast. No other mast suffers this problem quite severely. So if you want to adjust your pod, please add, and I recommend you do this anyway, at least one layer of just black electrical tape at a, as a base. And this will prevent you from scratching your beautiful mast. But if you want to get rid of additional slot because you want to run the pod lower, or even lower again, just keep adding some layers of tape which builds the mast out and it gives this pod something slightly squishy to bite into. If you don't put any tape on your masts, these masts are so insanely hard and smooth and have a, a lacquered surface that there's nothing for this pod to physically grip into because there's no give in this material. A, a few little layers of tape is squishy and it's got some give which allows the pod to bite into something soft. So if you've gone down the path of buying a Kraken, congratulations lovely mast, but you do have to deal with the fact that its shape is not conducive to a one size fits all pod. So add your tape and tighten it up into the business position you'd like, and there you are. I'm trying to keep this not too long winded, but also informative. So I'm going to undo this pod to show you another important factor. Okay, also unique to these pods physically printed into the pod is this way up. You have to have the lettering like this. So this way up is referring to if you were to look at the board standing on the beach the text should be standing upright as if you're reading it. So like this. This way up. Board is up here. Foil is down here. So the text is the correct way up. And that means that the tapering cutout in this pod, which might be a little hard to see in shot, is actually fitting the mask properly. If you don't watch for this and you just wing it and you've got it upside down, the tapering that is cut out of the pod will actually make your pod go on an angle, like an aggressive angle, which is not what you want. You want it to be tapered the correct way so when it clamps up, it's straight. So please remember that. Last of all, uh, for the Kraken series, there is an independent e-foil pod. Um, to make this pod fit down here relative to such a massive gradient change is just not feasible. You would have like a centimetre and a half of tape, which would be ugly. So we've made a specific e-foil pod for the Kraken series. Uh, one good thing about the Kraken series is the shape here and down here is the same. So the one pod, both in the e-foil and the surf version, will fit both the 83 and the 93 masts. So you don't have to have different pods for different masts. Unlike the original series where the 93, uh, sorry, 90, uh, 82 and 92 are completely different sizes. And this pod is drastically longer than this one. I think we've got all that out. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If you do have any questions, reach out to us. But if you follow those steps, you shouldn't have any issues. And you can use these beautiful masts how they're intended um, with them at foil drive. But please do take some time to fit them properly because this shape is quite a nasty one to make a pod fit super snug. Thank you very much.